O'Reilly Hospital for Children has given out over 100 books to kids living with sickle cell. It's part of a new program called the Sickle Cell Story Book Club. And while we've known about sickle cell for over 100 years, doctors specialize in treating the disease say it's underfunded because it's rare and affects minority populations. Our Sarah Jones sat down with the family during their checkup at Riley to learn more about the disease and its impact. Can you take a deep breath for me? Toddler ages is when the sickle cell started to really Reason. kick in. In sickle cell disease, there's a mutation that causes the hemoglobin to change shape once the red blood cell lets go of the oxygen. And that shape is where we get the name sickle. It looks like a sickle or a half moon. The mutation is common among populations ethnically from areas where malaria was prevalent. Because it was actually protective. It protected the malaria parasite from getting into the red blood cell. And through sort of the global expansion, has led to sickle cell disease primarily being seen in African, Indian, and Hispanic populations. They don't look too yellow now. Do you? The disease causes excruciating pain. Her cries would be more of like a screech instead of like a regular, you know, toddler crying where well, you could hear the pain. That half moon doesn't move through our blood vessels as easily as like that nice round red blood cell does and it gets stuck in our blood vessels. Causing what patients call a crisis. My teeth start to hurt. Most often my arms and my legs hurt but sometimes it can be in my chest or like my head or like pretty much anywhere. It can be anywhere. She'll try basically everything, hot bath, shower, everything. And then once she says, can you please take me to the hospital? And that's when I know, okay, you know, it's, it's bad now. Sometimes it lasts for days. Other times it lasts for hours. Yeah, her third grade year, she missed 89 days. Now 13, amid monthly hospitalizations this year, she's kept up with her schoolwork. It's not just about their physical health, it's about their emotional and academic health as well. So now every time she comes for a checkup at Riley, she along with other sickle cell patients will receive a free book. It's just another way doctors are looking after the overall health of their patients.